The creation of a gun in Unity for an FPS game is very easy to implement. The way guns are primarily programmed is the heavy application of Unity's raycasting function. For this video, I already have a smooth FPS character controller and a little environment for me to roam around when testing the gun implementation for this video. If you want to know how to make a smooth FPS character controller, there will be a link in the description to a video on how to create one. Now to get started, create a new script called gun. And in this script, we will add in the following variables to allow for the customizability of gun behaviors. The onGunShootUnity event variable will allow for us to connect other functions from other objects to this event handler visually in the editor to allow the ease of creating custom gun behaviors. The fire cooldown will be the number of seconds that will act as a buffer between firing. The automatic boolean variable will determine whether or not a given instance of the gun is an automatic or semi-gun. Lastly, the current cooldown variable will store the current cooldown of the given weapon instance. Now in the start function, all we will do is set the current cooldown to be the fire cooldown. Now in the update function, we will use two similar functions available in the input class of Unity to make functionalities for semi and automatic firing. In the case where we want an automatic weapon, the usage of the get mouse button function is being used as it checks if a specified mouse button, in this case the left mouse button, is being held down. If the player is holding down the left mouse button, then we check if the current cooldown is less than or is equal to 0 seconds. If it is, then we invoke the on gun shoot event handler. The same thing occurs within the case where a semi weapon is wanted. The only difference is the input function being used. Instead of get mouse button, get mouse button down is being used as it checks if a mouse button is pressed within a given frame. The last line in the update function simply subtracts the frame delta time to the current cooldown. And that is the complete gun class. Now in the editor, if we attach this gun class to an object that would represent the gun, we now have a weapon that can have its behavior easily modified. And this is the part where you can get creative with your gun behavior. For now, here's an example behavior to get you started. The damage gun behavior gets a class that gets a component that is the type of entity on an object that is accessed by a raycast and it subtracts the health of the entity class using a damage variable that is assignable in the editor. In the entity class, if their health becomes less than or equal to zero, the main object that the entity is attached to will simply be destroyed. To get this behavior working, all you need to do is attach the behavior along with the base gun behavior. Once that is done on the on gun shoot, simply add the shoot function of the attached behavior on the event handler. After that, make game objects with the entity class attached with a positive amount of health. With that done, you have a complete gun damaging system. You can definitely add more to this such as adding in a particle systems to give visual feedback for the user shooting, recoil, and much more. This is a very modular and customizable system after all, so do whatever your heart desires. And with that said, that is all for this video. In this tutorial, we created a system for guns in Unity that is easily customizable. There will be extra resources in the description if you wish to learn about certain functions, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Goodbye.